Okay, this was a review on um, finding subject headings. So I can't emphasize enough the importance of this page. I have given you a nice, what I call crossword clues. And I basically went by some of the suggested topics that instructor Higgins has provided to you. So again, I can't emphasize enough the, it's a Shanti with an I. You'll probably need to use terms such as this because there's a wrapper that happens to be named Shanti that could, um, you know, um, clog up all your results. So you do, we have, um, this is definitely uh, one of the important time savers, especially in terms of spelling for the Fonti, for example. That's the official subject heading term with an I. And um, definitely anti-slavery movements, not the abolitionist movement for, you know, a complete type of search and a Nazi for our notorious spider. So um, this is definitely where you can go to get those clues. To find them in database, notice that after the article, and sometimes it'll be in the side or below the article itself, you'll have a list of what are called subject headings. Sometimes it may use other terms like thesaurus or descriptors. But these are also an important discovery of key indexing terms that you may want to jot down or copy and paste in your list. So that way you can go back and use these as search terms in your future searching. So that in a nutshell is the experience of um, using search terms. So um, thanks for the listening to this review, and this is the end of this review section.